In this episode, we're going to take a look at a poll that was just put up on Peak D today. If you're a Splinterlands land holder or interested in the Splinterlands land game, please stand by. Hey all you Splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying hey. Thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. Well, uh, they just put up this uh, poll on Peak D, and I thought I would put out a short video on it. This will be of interest to anybody who holds land in Splinterlands. Now, right up front, if you've been following this along, the, the whole quote-unquote land game, you'll know that Canyons and Tundras kind of got the in short end of the stick. Now, I will admit the idea up front was kind of interesting, and I see why they put that in there. So if you're not familiar, um, some lands get plus 10%, but are basically relegated to two different splinters to get that 10%. And then you have other splinters that give you a negative effect, okay? So that's gonna encourage you to use certain splinters on each uh, land type. Now, some lands, specifically canyons and tundras, did not get that negative effect, but what they got was half of the bonus that was applied to the other ones. So the other ones got a tip plus 10% to production, whereas uh, Canyons and Tundras only got 5%. Now, I see why they did it, and I'm not saying it was a bad idea because it's an interesting idea, right? But the way it worked out was that people just didn't want Canyons and Tundras because they're just not producing enough. This is not a Dow proposal. This is just a poll up on Peak D that was put up today, and they're trying to figure out basically how to go forward with updating those. Now, Matt has said in the past, uh, it's been a little while, but he has mentioned that he would like to uh, update those uh, to bring them in line with, you know, what's going on currently in the game. So, they put up this poll, and once again, I will leave the link in the show notes. Uh, go take the poll if you're a landholder, or I mean, even if you're not a landholder and you're just interested in land game and you want to give your opinion, go take the poll. So it's over on PD. We'll read through it, and then um, this should be pretty short. Uh, those who surveyed tundras and canyons have put uh, been put at a disadvantage on their plots compared to others because of the terrain modifiers for production. Anyone with castles or keeps and those with occupied or magical plots have been put at a large disadvantage with a max of 5% bonus when everyone else has had a 10% bonus. We would like to collect feedback to present to the Splinterlands team about some potential remediations for the above problem. And then they give a graph and they basically tell you the pluses and minuses that if you're in the land game, you should be aware of uh, before purchasing land. Um, but basically what I had just talked about. Now, uh, we can see that the options here, uh, well, first of all, the question, the poll question is, how should we adjust the canyons and tundras to deal with the disadvantage the 5% max has given them? The first option is change tundras and canyons to plus 10% minus 50%. So basically make them the same, all lands the same, basically. Now each, each land would have two splinters that get the plus 10% bonus and then some splinters that get the minus 50% bonus. So, uh, or keep the current plus 5% and minus 10% and then add uh, a plus 10% for neutral cards, which is the way I'm leaning because that sounds interesting. The third option is keep the current plus 5%, but make the negative 50%, but also add plus 10 for neutral cards. I prefer an option not listed here or do nothing, okay? So these two options, number two and three, are very similar. So I had to take a second look at them, but um, they're very similar. However, they have significant differences. Okay, so this first option, keep the current plus five, minus 10, and then add plus 10 for neutral cards. So let's scroll up here and look at the canyon. Now on the canyon, it gets plus 5% for fire, it gets plus 5% for death, and plus 5% for dragon, minus 10% for water, life, and earth. Um, but there would be another category added for neutral and it would get a 10%, okay? So that's your example on what that option would yield. And obviously, uh, if you have that type of land, you would throw neutral cards on it uh, to get the plus 10%. Now, 
The third option, keep the current plus 5, but make the negative minus 50, but also add a plus 10 for neutral cards. Okay, so what that means is you would keep, uh, going back to the, cal or the uh, canyon here, you would keep the plus 5% here, but the 10%, the minus 10% would go to minus 50%. And then you would get, once again, another category for neutral, and you would have the plus 10, okay? So it looks like this is active for seven days. Once again, I will leave the link in the show notes. Go and post your vote uh, so they can go ahead and uh, proceed to take this vote and send it to the team. Uh, more information is better. Um, it is good that this is being updated because I've, I've mentioned this several times. And in videos, I call these the 5% lands uh, just for lack. And it is, it's, it's become an issue because people are just, most of the land that is being dumped on the market for very low costs are the 5% lands. So this will uh, serve to bring those lands, those two particular types of lands, back on par with the rest of the lands, and I think it sounds good. Uh, as far as I say, I will probably, once again, I'll probably vote two. In, in fact, I will go ahead and vote there on video. So anyway, this has been Bronze Dragon. Go out and vote on this option uh, if you're interested in land. Otherwise, I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy, and I will see you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.